I'm here to explain the Ray Biotech IgG IgM rapid antibody screening test that's made right here in America. It is developed and designed to be used by healthcare professionals. It detects IgG or long-term memory and IgM short-term memory in response to the COV2 virus. It is a single-use self-contained test that identifies past infections or presumed immunity, active infections, and a negative result within 10 minutes. If you do test positive, we recommend you go to the CDC website, which is www.cdc.gov backslash COVID-19. Now, I wanna walk you through what's contained in the kit that you're going to receive. You're gonna have an alcohol swab, lancet to prick your finger, a pipette to draw that blood, some reagent fluid, your cassette that's going to have your IgM or short-term memory, and your IgG long-term memory antibodies. And then a band-aid. <laughs> so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna disinfect the uh, finger. I'm gonna get a nice disinfected area there. Then we're gonna take the lancet. Boom. I'm gonna draw some blood here. You don't need much blood, but we're going to keep milking this finger till we get a good amount. There we go. Okay. I'm going to mix this with the uh, dilutant here. back on. Give it a little swirl for good luck. I'm going to put two to three drops in each sample well. One, two, three. One, two, three. And as you can see, that line is already starting to course up. Um, what we want to see is this line coming all the way up. We want the control line to show that two lines across control equal a negative result. They're also going to show us that that is a standard result too, showing that, that the control is working and that the test is a standard control um, test. So as we see this coming up, we're going to set our timer for 10 minutes. But usually we're going to see results before then. And as you can see on the G side, we're starting to see our first control line. And we're starting to see our first control line on the M, IgM antibody. So we know this is a good test. And so far it's a negative test. Okay guys, so about eight minutes have passed and we see that this is a negative test uh, for coronavirus. Now, see how this little bit of line, and I'm gonna use my pipette here um, to show this little bit of blood that seeped in through here. When you see that blood seeped in, um, that test can be read within one minute once you see that. Um, that uh, indicates that that test is ready to go. Hi, I'm Cindy Kelly, PA here at Streamline Medical Group, and I'm here to show you how to interpret your test results, um, no matter if they're positive or they're negative. So what we have here is an example of our cassettes here for a positive, a negative, and invalid test here. So what the C stands for is your control line, your quality control line. What the T stands for is for our test line, okay? And this can be for either your IgM, which is your short-term memory antibodies, or for your IgG, or your long-term antibodies. So what we would see here in a positive test um, is that your control line, it does test positive, which means it's a good standardized test. And then we would have um, positive on the T line, on our test line, okay? Now notice on this positive test, we have a great positive line here. 
But notice right here, okay, we have a very faint line there. So that might be a little bit hard to decipher here. But look right here, okay? Regardless of the color saturation present on the band of the test line, even a very weak band should be judged as a positive result, okay? I'm gonna erase that. There we go. Now, for a negative test, um, we want to see that that test line does not develop any color whatsoever here, okay? No color whatsoever. All we're gonna see is a nice band on the control line. That's gonna be a negative test. Now, what could come up is an invalid test, okay? That's gonna be where the control line is has absolutely no line there, okay? That's gonna be a negative standardized test. That means that test was not a very good test. Um, even if this comes up positive on the test line, it's not conclusive and is not a good test, okay? Now, what I also wanna show you is over here where we have a graph of antibody levels and days after symptoms appear. So if we kind of assume that it takes about 14 day incubation period, and at day zero is when you maybe develop, develop symptoms, that could be a fever, that could be headaches, that could be respiratory symptoms. Um, it can also be a malaise of, uh, of other things, um, just fatigue, malaise, um, headaches, um, diarrhea, loss of taste and smell. Um, those are gonna start on day zero. And you're gonna notice that this is when your IgM, remember your short-term uh, antibodies um, or short-term memory, um, really starts to start creeping up here, okay? And it's gonna peak probably about day 12 or day 10, right about here, okay? Um, and that's why when we do our test over here, IgM is gonna pop first, okay? Then, um, with this is starting to creep up, it's gonna peak here and then it's gonna start to decline. Then about day seven is when our IgG antibodies or our long-term antibodies or long-term memory starts to start to come up here. And it's gonna peak probably about day 20, six maybe, day something like that here. And so if you get a test that shows both IgG and IgM antibodies, that means you really have a current infection right now. Um, and then not just the beginning of an infection, which would be IgM. So IgM would represent current infection. IgG plus IgM means an ongoing infection. And if it's just IgG, that means you've already been infected in the past and now you've recovered and um, you're starting to trend down here. And so that's gonna apply maybe some, some uh, imply some probable immunity at this point. 